Hello everybody, I'm Chris. Today we're going through all the show me tell me questions, also known as the vehicle safety questions. The examiner will ask you one tell me question at the beginning of the driving test before you start driving, where you'd have to explain how you'd carry out a safety task. You'll also be asked one show me question, where you'd actually have to show the examiner how you'd carry out a safety task while you're driving. The show me question can be asked at any time during your test, including the independent driving part. If you get one or both questions wrong, then you won't fail your test, but you'd get one driving fault, or a minor as they're commonly called. I'm going to give you the full answers and demonstrations using this keyless Ford Fiesta, which is one of the most popular cars to learn in. So let's get started. Firstly, how to open the bonnet. There's three questions you might get asked that involve you having to open a bonnet. I'm using a Ford Fiesta, but a lot of cars are similar. To open the bonnet of this car, there's a catch, just here on the passenger side. Pull that, then go around to the front of the car, and just to the right of centre there's another catch. Just push that to the left, and hold it as you start to lift the bonnet. Pull the bonnet stay up, into the hole, and make sure it's secure. Question number one. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check that the engine has sufficient oil. Now this is a tell me question. You wouldn't have to physically do anything apart from open the bonnet, point at the dipstick, and explain to the examiner what I'm going to show you. You'd pull the dipstick out, it will be covered in oil, so you'd get a cloth, wipe all the oil off, put it back in, pull it back out, and it will leave an oily mark on the dipstick between the minimum and maximum markers. If it needs oil, then it goes in here. Open the bonnet and tell me how you'd check that the engine has sufficient engine coolant. The engine coolant is just here. Check it down the side. The level should be between the maximum and minimum markings. You'd open this only when it's cold to top it up. Never open it when it's hot as it could be dangerous. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. The brake fluid reservoir is just here. It has a little circle on the top in between brackets. You can check it down the side. The brake fluid should be between the maximum and minimum markings. To close the bonnet, lift it slightly as you pull the bonnet stay out of the hole. Push it back into the clip and then lower the bonnet. Mind your fingers as you can drop the bonnet just before it's fully closed. Let's have a look at all the other tell me questions that you might be asked. Tell me how you check that the brakes are working before starting a journey. Now this is a tell me question, but again, I'm going to show you it just to help you remember. Tell the examiner that you would drive forward slowly, press the foot brake, it shouldn't feel spongy or slack, and the car shouldn't pull to one side. Tell me where you'd find the information for the recommended tyre pressures for this car, and how tyre pressures should be checked. Tell the examiner that you would check and adjust all the tyres, including the spare tyre when they're cold, with an air pressure gauge. And don't forget to refit the valve caps after. Tyre pressure information can be found in the car manual, or sometimes there's a sticker on either the driver's or passenger's door pillar. Tell me how you make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. The head restraint should be adjusted so the rigid part is at least as high as your eye, or top of the ears, and as close to the back of your head as comfortable. If you do need to adjust it, there's a little button at the base of the head restraint that you can press 
and then move the head restraint up or down. Tell me how you check the tyres to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. You would check all the tyres with a tread depth gauge. The tread depth should be no less than 1.6mm across the central 3 quarters breadth of the tyre. You check this all the way around the tyre. There also shouldn't be any cuts or bulges on the outside. Tell me how you check that the headlights and tail lights are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. This is a tell me question, but to help you remember it, I'm going to demonstrate what you'd tell the examiner. You turn the ignition on, turn this once to the left for the dipped headlights, and then you'd walk around the car to check that the headlights and tail lights are working. Tell me how you'd know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system, or ABS for short. You'd tell the examiner that if there was a fault, this ABS warning light would stay on when you start the car. Tell me how you'd check the direction indicators are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. Tell the examiner that you'd press the hazard warning lights button. It's identified by this red triangle. Then you'd walk around the car to make sure all six indicators are working. Tell me how you check the brake lights are working on this car. Another tell me question. Tell the examiner that you would press the foot brake and either see reflections in windows or a garage door, or you can ask someone to help and check the brake lights are working. Tell me how you'd check the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. Again, I'm going to demonstrate what you'd tell the examiner. To check it's working, I can give the steering a little pressure as I start the engine. There's slight movement as the power steering begins to operate, so I know it's working. Also, as soon as you move off, you'll feel the steering is light to turn and not heavy. Tell me how you'd switch on the rear fog light and explain when you'd use it. You don't need to exit the vehicle. Tell the examiner that you would use the rear fog light when visibility is less than 100 meters. To turn on the rear fog light, you would firstly need to turn on the ignition. Turn on the dipped headlights, and then press this button here for the rear fog light. Tell the examiner that you know it's on because you would see this warning light on the dashboard. Don't forget to switch them off once conditions have improved. Tell me how you switch your headlight from dipped to main beam and explain how you'd know the main beam is on. Tell the examiner that you'd have to turn on the ignition, then turn on the dipped headlights, then push this dork towards the dashboard for the main beam. And tell the examiner that this blue warning light shows that the main beam is on. That's all the tell me questions. We're now going to have a look at all the show me questions. You'll be asked one of these while driving. But if you're unsure how to do it when driving on the test, then the examiner will ask you to pull up on the left when it's safe and convenient and ask you to find the control. It's a good idea to get familiar with where the controls are and how to use them before you try it when driving. Let's go through each of the show me questions. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you wash and clean the rear windscreen? Let's have a look at where the control is before driving. It's just here. Look for this symbol. To use it, push it away from you towards the dashboard and hold it as long as necessary to wash the rear windscreen. The rear wiper turns on and off automatically. You'll be asked this question when driving, but just like all the other show me questions, only demonstrate it when it's safe and there's not much going on. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you wash and clean the front windscreen? The control for this is on the same stalk as the rear windscreen washer. This time you'll have to pull it towards you. Hold it as long as necessary to wash the front windscreen. The wipers turn on and off automatically. 
only use it when it's safe, as it might be hard to see out of the windscreen for a second. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd switch on your dipped headlights? The switch for the dipped headlights is just down here. Turn it once to the left to turn them on. Look for this symbol. This light on the dashboard shows they're on. Then turn it back once to the right for automatic headlights. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd set the rear demister? The demister controls are all here. This button is for the rear demister. Press it to turn it on. Don't forget to turn it off by pressing it again. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd operate the horn? This is where the horn is. When there aren't any other road users nearby, just press it. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd demist the front windscreen? Don't forget, all the demister controls are here. To demist the front windscreen, press this button to direct air onto it. That's a good demonstration for the driving test, and don't forget to switch it back off after. But if the windscreen is extremely misted up, then press this max button. If your car doesn't have a max button, then direct air on the front windscreen again, turn the fan up, and the temperature, and turn on the air conditioning. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd open and close the side window? The controls are on the driver's door. The button on the right is for the driver's window. Press it down to fully open the window. Pull it up to close the window. Again, only do it when it's safe and try not to look at the controls when driving. Well, that's the end of all the show me, tell me questions. Hope you found it useful. We also have a free quiz on our website that might help you learn all the answers to the show me, tell me questions. If you've got your driving test coming up soon, then good luck and try not to worry about it. Comment below to wish others or yourself good luck. Please subscribe for our latest videos and thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next video.